The plot of the movie centers around a football enthusiast named Santiago Munez, who hails from Mexico. In search of better opportunities, Santiago and his family illegally migrate to the United States. Fast forwarding a decade later, an adult Santiago resides in Los Angeles with his father Hernan, grandmother Mercedes, and younger brother Julio. He aids his father in gardening during the day and works as a busboy at a Chinese restaurant during the night. Despite their financial struggles, Santiago keeps his passion for football alive by playing for AJFC, a local football team. As he can't bear the cost of pricey football equipment, he resorts to imaginative and cost-effective methods to cater to his needs and conquer his adversaries in football. One day, Santiago gets to know that his father intends to initiate his gardening business by purchasing a truck. Although Hernan desires both his sons to help him attain his objective, Santiago envisions himself as a football player, and thus, he shows no inclination to serve as his father's gardening aide for a lifetime. The subsequent day, Glenn Foy, an ex-Newcastle United player, attends Santiago's match and instantly recognizes his latent talent. Glenn approaches Santiago after the game and introduces himself, stating that he will send a sports agent to observe his next game. Santiago feels delighted and shares the news with his father Hernan that same night. However, Hernan shows no interest and attempts to downplay Santiago's aspirations of becoming a football superstar. Hernan advises Santiago to focus on the family business instead. Meanwhile, Glenn informs Barry Rankin, the sports agent, about Santiago and his abilities. Barry promises to watch Santiago's upcoming game and abruptly disregards Glenn's recommendations. Despite Glenn's efforts, Barry Rankin doesn't show up for Santiago's game. Apologetic for the situation, Glenn contacts Eric Dornhelm, the Newcastle manager, and arranges a trial match for Santiago the next day. Eric approaches Santiago as he exits his church and offers him a chance to play in a tryout for Newcastle United. The offer comes just in time, as Eric is set to fly back to England shortly thereafter. Santiago is caught off guard by the offer, yet Hernan interrupts and scolds him for squandering his time on football. Still, Glenn presents Santiago with his business card and requests that he contact him before leaving. The offer catches Santiago off guard, however, Hernan interjects and admonishes him for wasting his time on football. Nevertheless, Glenn hands Santiago his business card and asks him to get in touch before leaving. One afternoon, he discovers the money missing, and shortly afterward, he learns that his father, Hernan, took the money to purchase a truck for his gardening enterprise. Santiago becomes naturally upset and confronts his father, leading to a heated argument where Hernan once again expresses his disapproval of Santiago's dreams and instructs him to focus on gardening. Overwhelmed, Santiago rushes to his room to retrieve his inhaler. As he has asthma, he experiences occasional bouts of shortness of breath. Feeling as though he has no other option, Santiago appears to abandon his aspirations and resumes working for his father. Nonetheless, one day, his grandmother Mercedes catches him off guard by gifting him with money and a ticket to Mexico City. As an illegal Mexican immigrant, Santiago is unable to fly to the UK from the US, prompting Mercedes to propose that he instead depart from Mexico's airport. She discloses that she liquidated some of her jewelry to purchase the tickets, which greatly pleases Santiago, and he effusively thanks his grandmother. In the subsequent scene, Santiago travels to Mexico City without informing his father and promptly boards a flight to the UK. Upon arriving in London, Santiago utilizes a phone booth to dial the number on Glenn's business card. Glenn expresses surprise upon hearing Santiago's voice and subsequently retrieves him from the airport and transports him to his residence. Following a few days, Santiago commences his trial in Newcastle. However, during the training matches, he struggles to perform due to his unfamiliarity with the muddy and rain. 
Consequently, Eric declines Santiago and intends to send him back home. Nonetheless, that evening, Glenn approaches Eric at a restaurant and clarifies that Santiago underperformed due to being nervous and jet-lagged. The manager is ultimately persuaded and grants the boy an extra month for his trial. Meanwhile, Santiago contacts his grandmother to inform her of his trial struggles, expressing apprehension that he may be repatriated. However, Glenn appears soon after and reveals that the trial phase has been prolonged, much to Santiago's contentment. Consequently, Santiago commences his demanding training for a backup position on the Newcastle United club. At one point, he undergoes a medical examination in which he's questioned about any pre-existing health issues by the nurse, Roz Harmison. Fearing that his asthma may diminish his chances of securing an official contract with the club, Santiago deceives Roz. Additionally, it becomes apparent that he has developed feelings for her. Throughout his training, Santiago is harassed and physically intimidated by his teammates. Notwithstanding, he ultimately befriends a fellow trialist named Jamie Drew, who is also auditioning for a six-month term. Once, the pair venture to a local bar, where they encounter Roz, the club nurse, and her companion. Santiago takes advantage of the circumstance to engage in a lively conversation with her, and they soon establish a close bond. The scene subsequently transitions to a point in the future when Santiago learns that he has been selected as a backup for the club, bringing him tremendous elation. At the end of Santiago's trial extension, he's slated to participate in a reserve game against Manchester United. Nevertheless, before the match starts, a teammate who has been harassing Santiago snatches and destroys his inhaler when he attempts to use it. Santiago becomes infuriated, but he refrains from informing the management about the bully's behavior because he concealed his asthma from the team. Thus, he has no alternative but to participate, and while in the game, he experiences an asthma attack, leaving him breathless, resulting in yet another unsatisfactory performance. Eric, exasperated with Santiago, substitutes him and releases him from the team. Afterward, a dejected Santiago visits Ross to convey that he has been ousted from the team and plans to depart for Los Angeles the following day. She endeavors to console him, but their interaction takes a turn, leading to them engaging in sexual intercourse. The following day, Santiago boards a taxi to the airport. However, midway through the journey, the taxi firm orders the driver to take a detour to pick up a renowned passenger, Gavin Harris, the recently recruited star athlete of Newcastle United. As Gavin is running late for his practice, the driver opts to transport him to the training ground before heading to the airport. On the journey, Santiago and Gavin become acquainted with one another, and Gavin is astonished to discover that Santiago was trying out for their team. Once Santiago discloses the true cause for his removal from the club, Gavin escorts him to Eric's office. The prominent player then reveals the situation to the manager, ultimately convincing him to grant Santiago a second opportunity. Subsequently, Santiago begins participating in reserve games, eventually garnering a claim for his exceptional performances. He forms a close friendship with Gavin and becomes his roommate. Following weeks of strenuous exertion and practice, he's granted the opportunity to make his senior debut as a backup player against Fulham. Within the match, one of Newcastle's players sustains an injury, and Eric presents Santiago with the opportunity to play. As he steps onto the field, it's exposed that his father, Hernan, is proudly watching the game on television. Nearing the match's conclusion, Santiago is granted a penalty after being fouled by an adversary player. Gavin seizes the chance to score, resulting in a victory over Fulham. Eric expresses admiration for Santiago's performance but later addresses him in private and reproaches him for his self-centeredness on the field. That same evening, Santiago and his comrades visit a nightclub to commemorate their triumph. 
While there, they encounter football icons such as David Beckham, Zidane, and Raul. Subsequently, while under the influence of alcohol, Gavin's friends force Santiago onto a bed filled with women, with Gavin also participating, and they snap photos, resulting in a highly uncomfortable scenario. To his amazement, the subsequent day, photographs of Santiago with the women adorn the newspaper's front page. Infuriated, Eric summons him to his office and chastises him for tarnishing both the clubs and his own image. He then inquires about the other unidentified player, but Santiago refuses to betray Gavin. Subsequently, Santiago engages in a quarrel with Gavin over the incident. As a consequence, Gavin ejects him from their apartment, causing their friendship to disintegrate. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, Santiago's father experiences a deadly heart attack, which ultimately takes his life. Glenn conveys the news to Santiago, who is devastated. Notwithstanding his tumultuous association with his father, Santiago resolves to return home for the funeral. Subsequently, Glenn accompanies him to the airport the next day. However, just before boarding the plane, Santiago experiences reservations, prompting him to cancel his journey to LA. Evidently, Santiago is scheduled to compete in the most significant game of his profession, and he pledges to not let his father hinder him once again. The following day, Eric approaches Santiago during practice and discloses that he has been chosen to perform as a winger versus Liverpool. The game is of great importance, as the victor will qualify for the UEFA Champions League. Overjoyed, Santiago imparts the favorable news to his mentor Glenn and expresses his gratitude for all that he has accomplished for him. As time progresses, Gavin and Santiago re-establish their association. The scene subsequently transitions to the game. Santiago takes to the field, wholeheartedly embracing the spectators. His grandmother, Mercedes, and younger brother, Julio, watch him on television, while Glenn enthusiastically cheers him on from the crowd. The game commences, and Newcastle obtains an early advantage, owing to a swift goal from Gavin. Nonetheless, by halftime, Liverpool successfully secures two goals. Amid the concluding minutes of the supplemental injury time, Santiago gains possession of the ball, dribbles it past the defenders, and instead of keeping it to himself, passes it to Gavin, contributing to him scoring the equalizer and inciting the spectators to erupt in applause. Subsequently, the scene fast-forwards to the concluding minutes of the second half, where Gavin is abruptly tackled and Newcastle is granted a free kick in close proximity to the goalpost. However, Gavin relinquishes the free kick to Santiago. Everyone holds their breath as the remarkable young man from Mexico unleashes a magnificent shot, which ultimately lands in the back of the net, securing a 3-2 victory for Newcastle United. This triggers an ecstatic response from the crowd and all of the Newcastle staff. At the game's over, Santiago converses with his grandma over the phone, and she felicitates him on his triumph. She also discloses that, notwithstanding everything, his father had witnessed his game versus Fulham before passing away. The movie culminates as Santiago Munez weeps tears of elation, having finally realized his childhood aspiration.